fucking coolant. Alright, well, it's been uh, a while since I've had my camera out. Honestly, it's because I lost a battery charger and my SD card and shit, but um, got some shit back. It's uh, running kind of cold today because it's like 34 right now? 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Major things that have happened. Uh, new exhaust, and uh, I just got a power commander. It's a PC3 used off of my buddy who used to own one of these bikes. I've been trying to like avoid it, honestly, but I got it because uh, since I got the exhaust, it's been running a little lean. It was crackling like really bad before, and uh, I could tell that it had some power loss. I don't know, man, like, I, 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 I couldn't tell if it's just because the tires and the road are still cold. But that felt like it broke loose, like, way easier than it normally does when it's in a condition where it usually breaks loose, like, you know, uh, cold or wet or anything like that. The back end is breaking loose every single time I try to accelerate. The engine's running really cool. Honestly, like, because I've been having this fucking coolant issue, it hasn't been overheating, but it's been running pretty hot. And I mean, like, just last week we were in the fucking, like, 90s, so, you know. I'm sure if this thing had stickier tires and it was in better, like, the road was better condition today, that I would absolutely be power wheeling the ever living shit out of this so new tires are on the horizon especially before uh, i want to track it you know so i'm sure that the level of grip on these tires is higher than my skill level could possibly get to you know when you're learning how to push your skill level it's helpful to have uh, a bike that's not gonna randomly like wash out on you. Even though I've never used the full potential of these tires, I'd prefer something that I have a little more room to make mistakes with and still maintain grip. Oh boy wants to race. bike on the highway to see how this uh, little like makeshift windshield was gonna hold up but considering how easily my uh, tires are losing traction right now I think that's a hard fucking no. Could we let the bike warm up a little more? You still get that uh, high pitched chirpy from the engine as you can hear. Classic SV sound. Louder. And there's the uh, kind of makeshift wind, windscreen. Honestly, for the windscreen, all I wanted was something that will hopefully keep a little more wind. And I can add like more pieces to this to like flange wind off and stuff. Honestly, I don't care what it looks like. I just want it to function when I'm having going on the highway and I'm in a full tuck. I'm still getting a shit ton of wind pushing my head up. And I know for this, I might need like a little more protection around the sides or something. I'm not gonna go too big with it. I still care about what it looks like, you know? That's not my only reason for doing it. So, I wanted to go on the highway to make sure that this thing could hold up to some wind and see what it kind of felt like, if I could notice any difference whatsoever. But, like I said, considering the, uh, the state of my tires and this weather, I think that I'd probably lose a few fingers before uh, I ever got up to a high enough speed to really test it. Like I'm saying, when I'm in a full tuck, so that's like I'm going over a hundred miles an hour, and uh, with this kind of wind chill, just to test out something that I can wait for, you know, wait a week and it'll be fucking 80 degrees again. So get a small ride in in tonight. 
kind of take it around, uh, feel kind of how the power commander is behaving, even though I'm not getting up like super high. Cause fuck man, even in first gear, like I'll be pulling 60 out here. I didn't actually tune it cause there's not really any tune specifically for this bike. Uh, I'm sure that the PC3 already has one on there, and I know it's kind of bad to just leave it on there, but he also had, you know, aftermarket market air filter and exhaust and stuff, so I just, you know, figure I'd see how it works out and then maybe use the button controls to kind of play with the, the shit from there. Got a nice sound though. Let's see. And uh, usually snap crackles and pops if I'm like holding it pretty steady there to build up heat for a while. And I got a few pops. It's definitely not as bad as it was. We'll see how it's behaving though when it's a little warmer weather and I can tell for sure without my tires breaking loose. Like I said, it was running kind of lean. Pop. Uh, I can't really get any footage of it, but my buddy said that it is actually like spitting a little bit of fire. I like the snap, crackle, and pop. Don't necessarily want to get rid of it. I just want to like make sure that my engine's not running lean, you know? You feel me. You feel me. Holy fuck, dude, my fingers. I, if I could shove my hand in the fucking cylinder head, I would. Alright, alright, we're good. We're going home. We're going home. I'm, I'm finished with this shit. I got, I got what, the info, my info, information that I wanted to know, basically, it runs, as far as performance wise, I'm not sure exactly what we're looking at yet, but the main thing that I wanted to take it out was to make sure that it runs, and also, my makeshift, whatever the bullshit that is, doesn't, like, just randomly fall off. love jamming on my rear brake to make the back end uh, brake loose. It's really bad. But, you know, why not, right? <laughs> Man, it was really trying to catch traction there. Front got a little, uh, got front end got a little light, but 